just uh, raise your hand if you can hear me. All right, good. If you guys stay quiet, you'll be able to hear everything I say. I'm only gonna speak for a moment, and then we're gonna start handing some things out. All right, first of all, welcome to the first official, and I know you guys have had one of these before, but this is the first official celebration of the Biggest Winner Math Challenge. Over the past few months, many of you have worked hard to advance to higher levels of math, and in many cases, you've made great improvement. Overall, we're very proud of you. Today, we celebrate your hard work. Many of you will receive an official certificate of accomplishment. Some of you will receive more than one. Each student that has passed a qualifier has been entered into our raffle. We've got everybody's name right in here who has qualified. If you've qualified twice, your name is in there twice. If you've qualified three times, which some of you have, your name is in there three times. Let's begin with the certificates. When we call your name, please quickly approach the podium to receive your certificate. Well, the, the thing that excite, there's two things that excite me a great deal. Uh, the first is that uh, it's actually possible to have every student on their level, whereas in a classroom we find that extremely challenging. Uh, it's much easier with the uh, biggest winner challenge to have kids working on a particular level that they're on and be able to move them on to the, uh, the next level. Um, the most important thing, though, is the enthusiasm of the kids. It's infectious. And um, at least in terms of Eisenhower, uh, kids are more excited about math in these past couple of months than I've seen in any academic situation at all. So uh, I'm just eating that up. Uh, kids are coming to me constantly asking if they can take the next qualifier. They're asking me, uh, did they pass the qualifier they took previously? And if I don't have an immediate result, I see they're disappointed. So, um, you know, they're into it and that makes me uh, even more so into it. Uh, I know there are some teachers that have said they're going to use some of that practice work, the content for the, uh, the challenge. Uh, as homework, as morning work, uh, extra credit, and so forth. And then all they'd have to do when they complete it and feel they've mastered it is come down and check it against my answer keys, and we can get them on the computer too. So I think little by little we're starting to um, get the, the entire school, actually third grade through eighth grade, into this program. I've had three parents recently ask me if I can tutor them so that they can come up to speed on the math that their, their um, sons or daughters are learning. I get multiple phone calls a night by uh, parents and kids uh, who I did not know a couple months ago. Uh, I get parents stopping in uh, all the time in the library looking to see if their kids' names are on the, um, the wall uh, in terms of having passed a qualifier. And there's, when they find it, there's always great pride. Uh, I'm talking to a lot of people that I would not have been talking to if, uh, if this thing were not uh, up and running. Will it get uh, bigger than that? I, I know it will. Um, you know, it's just a matter of the word getting out and the words getting out quickly. And today is going to propel that a great deal further. But, um, you know, my answer is just a huge yes. Uh, you know, this kind of change doesn't happen right away, of course, but I see it happen happening steadily. Agent Landis. Uh, Agent, don't go too far because I believe her name is in here more than once. Anaya Irvin. Anaya, that's working hard. And guess who? Asia Landis. <laughs> Now, I, I want to tell you about Asia. Asia keeps coming in. I, I come in about 7 o'clock in the morning. She's there in the library. And most of the time, she asks me, can I get the next packet to work toward the next qualifier? And look at how that hard work has paid off. 
She's been taking home some practice work on weekends and working on that and coming back and showing me, and she keeps asking for more and more. So congratulations, AJ, and to everybody who got a certificate. Great job. The digital camera goes to Fong Tron. Come on up, Fong. You get a picture of you with your prize here, okay? All right, turn around for the camera here. There you go, Fong. All right, the headphones go to Curtis Nelson. There you go, Curtis. The iPod goes to Asia Landix. What a day, huh? Right, let's get the picture over here for you. Asia, Asia is um, obviously a bright student. She's a, just a fourth grade student. And she's gone all the way around on the, uh, the counter level and is now working on uh, Timekeeper. Um, but she's a motivated student. She, um, she loves seeing her name on the uh, wall. Uh, she loves to get positive feedback about uh, how well she's doing. And uh, I'm just so happy that um, you know, one of the, uh, the prizes went to her because it's so well deserved. But uh, she's a perfect example of how this program can work for any student, really. Um, you know, and she, she continually comes back and asks for more. The, the system is simple and efficient. And you know, as long as the kids are basically behaving and our supervision is tight, uh, it works beautifully. You know, most of the time what I've seen in our school culture is sort of an apathy toward uh, academics. And there's an excitement about math right now in the third through eighth grade community that, um, that is unprecedented here, at least in terms of my history here, how long I've been here. Renard Shields, Junior Green. Andrea Castro, Junior um, and they're actually learning. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Uh, we're filling in some of the gaps that, uh, that they had in terms of math. Kids who uh, were having trouble with place value are um, showing that um, they're proficient with place value at this point and other math skills as well. That's just one example. So, you know, the buzz that's going on, the excitement that's going on, the fact that uh, there is uh, undoubtedly learning going on, um, that's about all I can tell you, really. Um, we're learning and we're excited, and that combination is, uh, we can go a long way with that. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm going to work hard now and pay later. The benefits of learning this math is way greater. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm going to work hard now and pay later.